Let's move on to the next one. So example one, a die is rolled. You receive a dollar for each dot that is shown on the, um, the die. What is the expected value for the game? That's what you're trying to find. What is your expected value? So here, we're kind of looking at what's going on because we know when it comes to a die like this over here, we know there's like one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. So our outcomes can either be one, two, three, four, five, or six, right? That's all. So here, I do want you to draw the table out and everything. So here, go ahead and write that down. Go ahead and write the problem down. Go ahead and um, write this table and all the spaces and all the good stuff because we're going to fill it all in and then we're going to find our value, our total value. All right, so looking at this part here, again, there's a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six when it comes to your die, all the, the dots in the die. Now, what is the probability of getting a one if you roll one die? It's one out of six. There's one one out of six um, spots that you can do. So one out of six. For, um, for a two, how many twos are on the die? One. So one out of six again. How many threes? One. So one out of six again. And one out of six again. One out of six again. And then one out of six again. So each one of those, they can only be able to die once. So, hey, that's how it works. Alright, so when it comes to our value, they say that you receive a dollar for each dot show that, show, that shows. So here, the value for one would just be one dollar. One dollar. The value, the two dots would be two dollars. Three dots would be three dollars. Four dots would be four dollars. And then five dollars for the fifth one and six for the other one. So the value, you receive a dollar for each dot. Okay, so now all you have to do to figure out what your total is, is multiply these things together. So multiply those, multiply those, multiply those, 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 and those. So again, um, one six times one. And it doesn't matter what order you put it in, as long as you put them both up there. As long as you put the one in that one sixth, and then one, that one sixth and two, and then one sixth and three, so on and so forth. You guys get it. And so the only thing you need to do now is use the calculator and find the final answer for these. Then you add them up. And so let me just go ahead and, like, looking at the fractions I gave us here, if we do 1 times 1 6, that's just 1 6. 2 times 1 6, we're going to keep that as 2 6. You can do 1 third if you want to, but it's easier to do 2 6 so that way they have a common denominator. And then here, 3 6, again, common denominator, keep that there. And then 4 6. And then 5 6. And then that's 6 6 or 1. Alright, so again, your goal is to go ahead now is to add all those fractions up and figure out what that final answer is going to be. They should get about, I want you to add them up. We're going to do a little bit more time. You should get maybe 21 over 6. Just 3.5. And again, with that, if you want to, so it's approximately about, at least, let me write this down. The expected value, we're going to call that EV. The expected value. It's approximately like three dollars and fifty cents. That's your expected value. So that's three dollars fifty cents might be enough for you to want to play that game. That's cool. It's up to you. So that's all we're doing here. We're trying to figure out what is the expected value for this these games. And that way, if you want to play it or not, or if you deem that it's okay to play it, then you just play it. But if you don't deem it's okay, then you're like, nah, it's not worth it. Move on.